Hello and welcome to a, another devotion from New Life Community Church of the Nazarene. This is Pastor Kurt Lunsford and I am at Camp Pine Rock still. I have uh, the dining hall right behind me and I'm sitting in the shade of the pine trees and there's a gentle breeze blowing and it is just a beautiful day up here in Prescott, Arizona. And um, so as we think about the devotion yesterday, I asked the question, you know, who are you listening to? And I encouraged you to hear the Lord, that you would pay attention, that you would listen to the Lord, which is about listening to his word and listening to his spirit, developing a keen ear to hear what God is saying to you. Today, as we think about that, I wanted to jump into James. And in James chapter 1, it's once again, as I said yesterday, the concept of hearing in the Old Testament and the Hebrew language is also obeying, that you indicate who you're listening to and what you have heard by what you do. And so James 1 19 and following says this, Know this, my beloved brothers and sisters, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away, and at once forgets what he was like. But the one who looks at the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. I just want us to realize that we need to hear what God has to say, and then we need to put what God, what we have heard God say into action. We need to be a people who don't just let it run in one ear and out the other. We need to be a people who meditate on what God has said and who conform our lives to what he has said. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the path of sinners nor stand. Uh, well, path of the wicked, stand with sinners and sit with scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord and in it he meditates both day and night. That's a rough translation, a rough giving of um, Psalm 1. And the idea here is that we meditate on it, but we don't just meditate on it. We then allow it to come out of our lives. We allow the word to so infuse us that it flows out of us and that we are living examples of God's will and God's purpose that God has spoken into us that we're obeying him, that we're listening to him, that we're loving him, and as we love him, that we're loving others. This is the key. In this world of division and divisiveness, we need to be a people of harmony and of love. In this world where it's all about me, myself, and I, we need to be a people that is about other people and about serving them, because as we serve them, we serve our God. And it's easy to have your devotion to, to go in and to hear what God has said and said, wow, that, that's a good word, and then walk out and completely forget it. And that's what James is saying not to do. He's saying, don't do that. Hear it and do it. Allow it to change who you are and what you do and say today. So the challenge always and forever. Don't just hear what God says. Obey what God says. Go out and do it. Put it into action. Love those around you as God loves you. Forgive them. 
serve them, encourage them, be kind, allow that fruit of the Holy Spirit to flow out of you. And in so doing, you will be assured that you are like that tree that is planted by streams of living water and you will bear fruit in season. So continue to rest in him, to trust in him, to listen to him, and to obey him, to do what he has asked you to do. As you do that, may God bless you today and every day.